everybody, AJ McCorder here, your tournament director for the Hobie Bass Open Series, anchored by PowerPole, and we just wrapped up the New River event supported by Torquedo in Visit Southern West Virginia. This is our seventh round of the year and our eighth straight 100 angler event. The support from you all in this series is truly amazing and appreciated. This is our first visit to the state and our first open event on the New River. It's a very old and famous river that is known for its amazing views, some white water, and the potential for trophy smallmouth bass. Our anglers came into this weekend with a little bit of a challenging bite, but they did get a chance at some big smallmouth and some awesome opportunities for them to cast checks in this series. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the support of Visit Southern West Virginia folks. They were very excited at the opportunity to bring national kayak fishing to their communities. Thanks to Torquedo for their namesake support and investment into the kayak community for many years. Torquedo has the simplest buy and install motor on the market for kayaks. Check them out if you are looking into power options for your kayak. Thanks to Hobie for their continued investment and support of the activities they design amazing products for. Thanks to Steve Fields for all the help on and off the water this weekend. We wouldn't be able to have this series without him. Really appreciate Corey with Hobie and Jeff Little with Torquedo for their volunteer help this weekend. Shout out to our local Hobie dealer, Andrew and Mark Hitchcock for their support of local kayak fishing and everything they were able to do uh, for our anglers this weekend as well. Check out Elevation Sports if you're ever in the area or online for any of your kayak fishing and Hobie needs. Thanks to Dwayne Wally for having and always working on Tourney X for us. Makes our jobs easier as directors uh, and it's a lot of fun to follow uh, Tourney X during the weekend. Wouldn't be able to run this series without our, our sponsors that are all behind me here. PowerPole, Lowrance, Aftco, Burley Pro, FPV Power, Marine Mat, Ingle Coolers, St. Croix, Hobie Eyewear, Yak Gear, and Torquedo. If you're in the market for any of those product categories, make sure you check out the brands that invest into our sport and allow us the opportunity to be doing what we love out here in high level competitive kayak fishing. As always, and most importantly, thanks to all of you all that attend and all of these folks at home that support and promote and share your all's posts and ours to make these events truly special, believing in what we're doing. You all invest so much time and money and effort for these events. We thank you all so much. This series, this series solely exists for you all to have this opportunity, and we appreciate you taking advantage of it. If you do want to fish with us, there are a couple of options left this season. Registration is currently open for the St. Croix Rods Mississippi River event out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. We end at Lake Sam Rayburn in Texas. That event's brought to you by Marine Mat. Uh, should be an amazing opportunity to fish one of the best lakes in the country. We'll be updating the standings after this event for the AFTCO Angler of the Year standings. You can still qualify for this year's Tournament of Champions through points and top placing spots at each event. The Tournament of Champions will be a three-day 60 Angler Championship on Lake Chickamauga in Dayton, Tennessee this November, and we expect a payout of over $80,000 to our top 10 anglers. The story of the week for many <clears throat> was that they were unsure how they were going to tackle this, this river. Uh, new challenges for a lot of folks that had never experienced uh, the swift current and some of the shoals and rapids that are present uh, in these stretches of river. I'm going to let the anglers tell a little bit about their experience uh, <clears throat> when they get up here in just a second from their time on the water. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> First, we're going to start with the awards for Yak Gear Big Bass. It's $500 to the longest bass turned in this weekend, and we saw some really good fish. Saw some smallmouth in the 20 inch range over both days. And for, you know, for this fishery, that's a really old fish. It's had to endure a tremendous amount of pressure. Uh, it's been through a lot to get to that size on this river. But on day one, 
we saw a true river giant, 21 and a half inch smallmouth, one of the longest fish we've seen in a few events, and the, one of the longest smallmouth this series has ever seen. It's an amazing fish and really showcases the high end potential of this river. That 21 and a half incher is worth $500, and that was caught by Mike Hawks. Mike, I'm gonna hand you that. Mike, tell everybody where you're from. I'm from uh, Galax, Virginia. Where we got you? That's yours right there, sir. All right. So Galax, Virginia, for folks that don't know it, is uh, a little bit further south and up the river. And uh, you were able to take probably some river experience and apply it to a different stretch of river. Uh, we're going to get to talk to you a little bit later about your overall experience, but I want to know about that fish. Is that the biggest New River smallmouth you've ever caught? Uh, I think so. I've caught some others 21 and a half, but I think that's probably the longest fish. All right. What would you catch it on? Uh, caught it on Rico. Topwater. Yep. Oh, man. Well, that's uh, top water is one of the most exciting ways to catch a fish. Uh, but when it's that big, uh, you know, that's just a whole different level of excitement. But then you've got the nervousness of treble hooks uh, and, and sometimes how they can let you down coming after that. Tell us a little bit about the fight and that experience from that fish. Uh, I was coming down the bank, some current going by, a stick up and uh, just winged it over in front of it. And uh, he rolled up and just sort of waller it was one of them wallering fights you know he it was uh he wasn't wild and jumping everywhere he just wallered his way all the way back and i grabbed the net and got him right in <laughs> awesome man well we'll look forward to hearing a little bit more about your time on the new river uh here in just a little bit but that's an incredible fish uh it's always exciting when you catch a big one on tournament day and it can be worth a little extra cash and uh that fish definitely helped you earn your way back into the the top 15 so we appreciate it all right thank you and you can actually go ahead and stay up here yep. all right we're going to call up the other anglers in the the bottom five of our paid places we've got abby abandanza greg harper jason broach and brandon prince is in that but he wasn't able to make it back uh this evening so in 15th place I'm taking home $575, put up 71 and three quarter on day one, 74 and a half on day two for 146 and a quarter total, Greg Harper. Thanks, man. Greg, tell everybody where you're from. I'm from here in uh, Southern West Virginia, born and bred. So kind of a home, home opportunity for you? Yeah, after I've been fishing uh, national trails for a couple years now, and it was really good to get back and see some familiar water. Although it was a little rough on the body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, river fishing can be a, a little tough sometimes. Uh, tell us a little bit about what it took this week. I know the fishing was uh, presented some challenges for our anglers, but you were able to showcase both days what it took and have a check to represent it. What did it take for you this weekend? And it was, uh, it was kind of just july fishing i mean it was slow a little bit but uh i downsized and went a little finesse with a jig and the fish were where they're supposed to be just to get them to bite awesome man what'd you think when you saw a schedule uh with new river uh and this this particular stretch on it uh you, you said normal july fishing so you knew there was going to be some challenges but right. a little excitement there too right it was it's it's great to see uh national trails come to your hometown especially west virginia because we're so small and don't offer a lot for fishing. Uh, I got to spend a week on the water with my good friend, Rod Merritt from Maine, and uh, share some of my, my water with him. Awesome. It was a good man. time. That's, that's what it's all about. Anybody you want to thank? Man, I want to thank Mark and Andrew at Elevation, uh, my wife, my boys for always staying behind me, and all those messages you get from your friends while you're on the water saying hang in there and grind, and it's all, all good. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Thanks, man. In 14th, taking home $600, had 77 on day one, 70 inches today for 147. It's on a string of cash and checks right now, Abby Abendanza. Yeah. Abby, tell everybody where you're from. 
Greensburg, Pennsylvania. And uh, you came down for some river fishing, man, and it treated you with another check heading back home. It did. And uh, before we start, I want to thank Jody Queen because, and everybody should thank Jody because of the big map he put out. You know, I'm not a rapid guy. I hate rapids. <laughs> so him putting that out with the slack water stuff and, you know, wading, fishing, that, that, that helped me tremendously. So thank you, Jody, for that. So Jody obviously helped some folks get familiar with the river uh, that, that weren't. Uh, we appreciate that. But once you got here, it was all up to you. So what did it take this week uh, for you to, to get fish uh, and, and end up in the top 15? I only had one good day of uh, practice, which was Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, I had other obligations. I had to drive to Huntington, West Virginia, so I didn't fish on Thursday. Friday, I, I barely fished, just looked. And uh, so I had a pretty pretty good practice on Wednesday. And um, of course, everything I did in practice didn't parlay into this weekend. <laughs> so, Normal, yeah. So I am a true Ned guy, and that's what I did all weekend. <laughs> so I just. It was a grind. So you just finessed them and made it happen all, all weekend. Yeah. The first uh, day one, I only had uh, seven keepers. Um, two I wasn't able to call with, but they were keepers. And today I only had uh, six. I lost two pretty big fish today. Mm. Two big key fish, so I didn't fish that clean today. Well, you got a lot of variables, a lot of conditions going on on the river uh, that you have to kind of work around, but you did enough this weekend to end up in the top uh, top 14. You got some more uh, awesome AFCO Angler of the Year points, really putting together a strong year uh, with the Hobie Bass Open Series. Is there anybody you want to thank for this event and uh, just overall for the support this Definitely season? friends and family and uh, 84 Lumber, Native, Z-Man, Fishing Online, and... Uh, all the rest of my sponsors so absolutely uh, man thank you you and steve too also put on a great event thank you man yeah. absolutely congrats thank you in 13 taking home 625 dollars had 77 and three quarter on day one put up 70 inches today for 147 and three quarter mr jason broach Jason, tell everybody where you're from. Uh, Bluffton, South Carolina. And you came up here to get a little river fishing in middle summer and uh, ended up leaving with a check. How's that feel? Uh, money's good, considering I got a speeding ticket coming up here during trip. So that helps out with that, keeps the wife happy somewhat. And yeah, it's we'll, good. We'll call it a push, hopefully. Yeah. Well, man, uh, tell us a little bit about your experience on the water. You're, uh, you know, you've been around the game for a long time. You fished all over the country. Uh, what would the river do to you this week and uh, what it take to cash a check? Uh, it definitely treated me better than past um, other series tournaments we've been here. Uh, you know, there's times struggling, get a limit, small fish, but this time I found a lot, of, a lot more bigger fish, so that was fun. Caught my first muskie. Uh, caught fish on a variety of baits pre-fishing and tournament day, but most of them, the, the big ones came on a little Lucky Craft XP78 Ghost Minnow. I think it did a pretty good job imitating all the little bait fish around so that's pretty much how I got them in the boat and yeah well you've also had a good year here with us at the Hobie Bass Open Series you uh, started our I think our first uh, couple uh, angler of the years you were up there this is going to be a, another uh, strong point finish for you uh, can't wait to see how things this shakes everything up for the AFCO angler of the year race uh, who do you want to thank uh, for the efforts, obviously, that you put in for this event and through the, se the season so far? Yeah, one of the big big things is, you know, Hobie Kayaks. I've been fishing out of one since 2007, representing the brand since 2014. But when they came out with the Hobie Lynx, you know, it's the perfect boat for this, this type of fishery. And getting up shoals, pulling it behind me, you know, no drag really, made it super easy. Um, AFCO keeping me, you know, protected from the sun and cool. Uh, Lucky Craft, you know, making awesome little jerk baits and other baits. Um, all the different pure fishing brands, but mainly Berkeley, Abby Garcia, uh, Spider Wire. That's rod reel line combination since I was yay high. Uh, Yeti coolers, Gerber gear, uh, Ego fishing nets, catch products, and Dakota Lithium keeping my GoPro running all day. So I got some pretty awesome footage, and hopefully, be putting it out there soon. 
Awesome, man. We can't wait to see it. We appreciate you. Congrats. Like mentioned earlier, uh, Brandon Prince actually is 12th place angler. Uh, Brandon Prince also had 147 and three quarter, uh, but he had the tiebreaker with a 17 and a half incher uh, that he was able to catch today. He had 70 and a half on day one, 77 and a quarter today, and taken home to Missouri $650. Brandon's had a strong year with us uh, on the Bass Open Series as well, and is going to really appreciate those points. In 11th, Mike, <clears throat> in 11th, yeah, we'll get to, we'll get to, hey, you know, a week on the river, we're all a little, a little tired and fried, so 78 and a quarter on day one, 70 today, had 148 and a quarter, taking home 700 for his placement and 500 for that big fish is Mike Cox. So Mike, obviously, you know, that, that fish anchored your day one, but you put a good limit around it. Uh, what did it take to catch the rest of those fish? Was top water your bite all week, or was that really just kind of a focus in certain areas? Yeah, uh, I like to throw top water about all day a lot of times in the summer. Uh, you don't get as many bites a lot of times, but uh, the quality is there if you can find it, you know. And uh, that's pretty much what I've done. I caught a few on Ned, uh, but I mainly stuck with top water. What, obviously, you know, your limit didn't have a 21 and a quarter inch today, uh, but was there anything different uh, today as far as the, the, the size quality that you were finding that changed from day one to day two, or was it mainly just that, that kicker? Uh, I didn't get, I only caught five keepers each day. Uh, I never did uh, cull. I uh, had one squirt off the board today. Uh, but it basically about the same. I just happened to get the big fish the first day, you know. And, I mean, I had some, like, 16s, you know, stuff like a good solid fish. But uh, I got the big bite the first day. And I had, I had a, you know, one roll on it today but didn't get hooked up that was big. But uh, that's pretty much how it went. Awesome, man. Well, is there anybody you want to thank for uh, the opportunity to be out here? Uh, I'd like to thank God for the opportunity to fish tournaments. And mom, dad, dad, he, he watches Tourney X, you know, keeps up with it, how me and Eric's doing. My son, he fishes. And uh, my girlfriend for putting up with me, you know, going around. You know, I fish a lot of tournaments in boat, boat tournaments and some kayak tournaments too. But we're always fishing. Awesome, man. Well, you got to take some, some money home for it this weekend, and uh, uh, congratulations on uh, handling your business on the New River. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, next five. Dusty Yacker, Adam DeWitt, Wesley Gray, Adam Shepard, and Jordan Welliver. All right, in 10th, taking home $750, had 74 and a quarter on day one, 75 inches today for 149 and a quarter, Adam Shepard. Adam, tell everybody where you're from. Wadi, Kentucky. All right, man, and uh, how was your experience on the New River? It was pretty awesome. Uh, it was a beautiful place, I caught a lot of fish, Caught them on a spinner bait and rapids. Pretty awesome to do that. A couple of top water fish. It was awesome. Yeah, I mean, uh, the New River can be a special place. Uh, catch them a variety of different ways, uh, but they're always aggressive and uh, it, it can be a lot of fun. Is uh, so that was your main main bait to get the totals you got spinner yeah. bait and current. Yeah, half ounce war eagle. Mm -hmm. Awesome, man. Well. Anybody you want to thank? I'd like to thank you all. Yeah. yeah. Steve, wherever he's at, there he is. I'd like to thank my wife. She lets me do this. Yeah. And um, I have a shout out to uh, 
Brandon Palmer and his uh, his company, Little Miami Outfitters, he built the rod that I was using the spinnerbait. And if you want a custom made rod, give uh, Brandon a shout out. And you saw on Facebook with Little Miami Outfitters. And uh, shout out to my my fishing buddies, the uh, Salt River Boys, back home. Awesome man. And uh, shout out to Bluegrass Kayak Anglers, that's man. Right. You've been that's right. you've been taking their money for for years, and uh, you know now you're now you're out here taking other people. So congratulations, Finally. man. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Oh. All right, in ninth, taking home eight hundred dollars. Had seventy-seven on day one, seventy-two and a quarter today. Also had 149 and a quarter, but had a 20 incher early on Saturday morning to break the tie is Wesley Gray. <laughs> Wesley, where are you from? Um, I'm from Huntsville, Texas. All right. Ever spend any time out here on a smallmouth river in the mountains? Uh, nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, well, it treated you pretty good. Uh, awesome smallmouth on day one. What did it take day one to put it all together? Um, well, I think the theme of this weekend has been adapt and overcome for me. Uh, I think it's been one thing after another. So um, just not giving up, not quitting. I've had kayak problems, drive problems, rudder problems, speeding ticket on the way here, <laughs> train on the ramp, the road to the ramp this morning. So we did a 16-mile float today instead of a 12-mile float. So this weekend has been an absolute train wreck. But it's been great, and I made it, and here I am. <laughs> well, we always talk about the people up here. Is it's overcoming uh, the challenges and the obstacles that are, are presented throughout the week and especially yeah. on tournament days. Yeah. That's really what it takes uh, a lot of times, especially in a fishery uh, that has constantly changing variables. Uh, and that's that's what rivers are. They're constantly changing. They're always moving. So, yep. Any other good stories from the river you want to share? No, I don't think so. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Anybody you want to thank? Um, I, I want to thank my sponsors, uh, Dobbins Rods, Egg Zone Lures, Fish USA. Um, they've all been really good to me. My friends and my family, everybody who helped me out this weekend, you included, for letting me beg, borrow, and steal my way to a check today. So, um, you guys have been amazing. It's been great. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Right. Thanks, AJ. Yep. In eight, taking home $900, had 79 and a half on day one, 70 and a quarter today for 149 and three quarter inches, Jordan Welliver. <laughs> Jordan, tell everybody where you're from. Sunbury, Pennsylvania. Uh, and tell us a little bit about your experience on the New River this week. Uh, it's definitely what I'm into. I love any time I'm on a river. I'd prefer that over a lake. Um, I had a blast all week and caught a lot of fish and even a striper today, so I was extra cool. Yeah, I've seen some pictures of some big striper, man. It's definitely a surprise on a river like that. Uh, how big was yours? Like 28, 29. <laughs> That's a nice and one. And it ate top water. Man, that is uh, that's awesome. So, is that primarily what you were what you were throwing this weekend, top water? I did not catch a black bass on top water. What was it take for you? A uh, spinner bait, and then today at two o'clock, when I had three fish, I I make tubes, and I was pretty desperate, so I just started throwing that and fishing mindlessly, and. It did the trick. It's pretty uh, pretty rewarding to be able to catch fish and cash a check on uh, you know a bait that you created and made. Uh, that's a really really cool thing, man. Um, anybody you want to thank? Uh, yeah, I want to thank my girlfriend and my family and everybody at home in the local trails that has been texting me, um, and then Sneaky Hollow Bait Company. Awesome, man! Congratulations. All right, in seventh, taking home $1,000, had 76 and three quarter on day one, 74 and a half today for 151 and a quarter, Adam DeWitt.
Adam, tell everybody where you're from. Um, from Grand Island, Nebraska. That's a little bit uh, down the road from here. Mm -hmm. There are not a whole lot of big mountains and big rivers no, out there. No, so how was not. your experience out here on the New River kind of coming from that area? I mean, this is exactly what I love to do on rivers like this. So I don't know. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What did it take for you to put them in the boat both days really consistently this weekend? Uh, I mean, I got up in rapids with my kayak tied to me, basically leaning like this and throwing a swim bait and a jig all day. What I like to do. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody you want to thank? Um, uh, my family and friends about it. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. In sixth, taking home $1,100, had 80 inches on day one, 71 and a half today for 151 and a half total inches, Dusty Yacker. Thanks, y'all. Uh, Dusty Yacker from Chicago, Illinois. I'm kind of versed with the questions he's going to ask at this point. I don't ask you questions. I just, <laughs> I just hand you a mic and let you Well, you, you know, roll. I do love to talk, obviously, and today for the last hour on the river, I was, I, I was talking to God, literally. I'm not even a religious person, but I was trying to wipe the sweat. The sweat was just pouring down. I was, like, out loud praying. Like, the people around me are probably like, dude, who is this guy, man? But uh, um, it was, uh, it was uh, Sundays are brutal for me. Um, uh, I, you know, obviously all of y'all are familiar with how much work and grind this stuff takes. And when you put yourself in the right spot with the right lures and you do the right thing and you get them to bite on the hooks and they, and they come off the hook, you're, you, I, I mean, I can't even take it anymore. I mean, I really can't. It's been like six or seven tournaments where I'm in a position to do really well or maybe, maybe lead and they're just coming off. It's not, it's not the line, it's not the rod, it's not mechanics. It's just some awful luck and today, I just uh, almost flipped my lid, but um, really the lesson to be learned, uh, like you have mentioned on many times, is um, it's overcoming. It's, to succeed here is overcoming the obstacles, just like in life. And uh, boy, it was, a grind, it was a grind this week for everybody, of course. Um, but again, I lost three huge fish today. That would have made a huge difference. Um, uh, but uh, I didn't quit, uh, and I, didn't, I, I made sure the lure was in the water no matter how I was feeling. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So at 2.59, uh, I caught a 13 and, and, and a quarter inch fish. It was a miracle. Uh, I was just working that jerk bait as hard like, as, as I could. Uh, and I got it. So um, it was a little, it was a nice uh, culmination for me, a little lesson to just, you know, not, not stop. Uh, the river's gorgeous. This is definitely my jam. I love smallmouth. I love skinny rivers. I love moving water. Uh, the ability to get out uh, and fish the shoals and wade and, 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 and move the kayak around is, is precious. It's just, it's, uh, it's a very rewarding uh, fulfilling experience, uh, but under the auspice of a tournament, man, it could just you know the com the competitor in me is just, it's insane. So uh, <laughs> when 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 it you know it, it, the mantra if you're not in first you're in last I do adopt that. I mean I know that's not the the best sportsman thing or maybe the classiest thing to do, but man I'm out here to win and I'm out here grinding and and it's uh, it's going to happen one of these days. It's been a very consistent season uh, and uh, some, some very very valuable AOI points and I'm. And I'm thankful for that. I'm super thankful for my wife, Maria, there, who just puts up with some nonsense, uh, sitting at ramps all day in 90-degree heat with a dog. Got the forerunner with the AC the whole time. I mean, that, that's, that's uh, not, man, dude, sorry, man. That's, 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 that's very meaningful. Um, <clears throat> fish, uh, specs. Um, I used a variety of, of stuff. Um, mega bass. Gosh, man, that stuff just gets, this, gets done. It was a trio of, 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 of spark shad, griffin. Sleeper Craw, 110 Junior, uh, just my confidence baits. They all caught fish. Uh, the plopper, the treble hooks, man, are my demise again. The plopper, the, all those fish. Uh, two, one fish came off the jerk bait, two fish came off the plopper. But hey, man, uh, that's life. Um, so I'm super thankful, of, of course, for my friends, for Maria, for all y'all that make this possible. You know, I'm here because all y'all register and go through this stuff. And certainly for, for what AJ and Steve and everybody at Hobie does, it uh, lets me see our country. And we live in a beautiful country. It's not perfect, but it's gorgeous. And this area is pretty damn gorgeous. So if you all get a chance to come out here and fish the New River, um, you, you will enjoy it. And we, we travel so much. We've had so many bad meals. We've had three of some of the, the best meals we've ever had uh, in the area. Palisades Restaurant, 
uh, what's Bluegrass Barbecue, and uh, gosh, there was one other. I'm sorry, but uh, that was very enjoyable. So, I'll, 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 you know, ultimately, it was a, it was a good time, man. So, thanks everybody. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, we got our top five. R.J. Hoover, Gino Quizon, Amos Hicks, Drew Gregory, and Jody Queen. All right, we got a tie for fifth. Fifth place is going to take home $1,200. Sangler had 81 inches on day one, 71 and a half today for a total of 152 and a half. Unfortunately, they got bested by a large fish uh, caught by the tiebreaker angler. And so they are going to go home with fifth place, $1,200, Amos Hicks. Amos, tell everybody where you're from. Right here at Hinton, West Virginia. All right, man. Well, what what it take this week on uh, the river? You know, home home body of water. You've probably spent a ton of hours out there over the years. What it take, and uh, how'd you grind it out to a top five finish? Uh, it was tough both days for me. Um, the top water bite a little bit like yesterday. It was non-existent for me today. Tube jig and off ledges, and uh, that's pretty much it. Tube jig. Tube jig, man. What changed for you kind of from day one to day two? Uh, just kind of different size fish in the similar areas, or did you move, or what, what was it I for did you? the same exact float. I shortened it by probably four miles because I about killed myself yesterday, 11-mile float. Um, but, yeah, I think I tried to fish too fast this morning, and it kind of messed me up. Yeah, man. Well, what would you tell people? I mean, obviously – the New River's got a big name. It's, it's something that, you know, the area, the region has promoted and showcased a long time. We've all seen big fish from it. What would you tell somebody that's uh, sitting back, uh, just looking at the totals or watch this event this weekend? When would you tell them to come visit the New River and what, what would you tell them to throw? Personally, me, I'm, I'm wintertime smallmouth. I mean, I, January, February, March for me, a uh, quarter ounce jig and a, uh, big long trailer. You really targeting those quality bites over the quantity. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, you might not get two or three bites all day, but when you do, it's usually 18 plus. Yeah. Awesome, man. Is there anybody you want to thank? Uh, my girlfriend, my kids, my dad. That's about it. Awesome, man. Well, we appreciate you and a bunch of other West Virginia folks showing out for this event. We really uh, appreciate all the hospitality and we enjoy being here. Anytime. Thanks, man. All right, in fourth, taking home $1,400. Had 68 and a quarter on day one, put up 84 and a quarter today with a 20 and three quarter inch smallmouth. 152 and a half, Gino Quizon. <laughs> Gino, tell everybody where you're from, man. From Pensacola, Florida. All right. Well, there's not a lot of uh, mountains and flowing river smallmouth down Pensacola, Florida. There's nothing like that down there. Is this your first time really fishing in an area like this? Yeah, so it's my first time in West Virginia and Virginia as well. Uh, this place is beautiful. Everybody's very nice. Uh, the food's great in some of the local restaurants, so I highly suggest going there if you come here. Um, the scenery is just amazing. The river is gorgeous. Um, I definitely would like to come back here for sure. Well, day one, obviously, still you know put up a good total but it wasn't probably what you were looking for but what did you change from day one to day two uh to, to put up the third largest five fish limit of the event uh and then tell us about that big one man yeah so well basically i got here on thursday um thursday night actually i didn't have any time to scout or anything uh friday i pre-fished for about two hours and i just scouted everything else but I didn't go to any of those spots that I scouted or pre-fished. Uh, I basically just looked at the map and just saw 
what had the least looking rapids because I did not want to go down any rapids. Um, and I just, I just went there and just hunkered down. Uh, day one, I caught all of my fish on a whopper plopper. Um, and I was also just scouting around the area as well. And I could stand up and see big fish, uh, fish swimming around. Uh, and obviously I spooked them. So coming into day two, I knew what I was getting myself into. So I had boat position a, lot be a little bit better uh, on day two. Still catching them on top water today or would you have to try yeah. something else? So I caught two on the chopper today. Um, I caught that big one on a drop shot with a robo worm. Um, and dude, that thing skied out of the water like three feet. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I was freaking out. Um, and then everything else was on a Picasso Nevig. Safe to say that was a personal best smallmouth bass? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I've never targeted smallmouth, so this is the first time uh, I've ever uh, fished for him. Man, you, uh, you absolutely got treated, man. 84 and a quarter inches today, having a, a true uh, trophy smallmouth river fish. That fish has been around for a long time. That fish has had to dodge a lot of baits in its life. Uh, and you, uh, you finessed that fish in, and uh, that fish uh, did a lot for you, man. Jumped you up to fourth place, a couple, couple extra hundred bucks on that. Is there anybody you want to thank? Yeah, I want to thank my wife. Uh, she's very supportive of me. She's a foundation in my life, so I really appreciate that. Um, I want to thank you, uh, Steve and Corey, for putting on these awesome events. Uh, my sponsors, which I have a list right here. Uh, Spirit Point Hooks, Picasso Lures, Dobbin Divides, Dakota Lithium, Royal Blazer, Nomad Design, Newport Vessels, and also want to thank Dugout uh, for taking care of the anglers as well. Awesome, man. Well, we appreciate you, man. I know you uh, kind of just decided to come and do this thing. Yeah, it was a last-minute decision for sure. <laughs> well, we, we appreciate the support, and uh, I'm glad you had an opportunity to experience what uh, a mountain smallmouth fishery can, can be. So, Awesome. Congrats, man. Thank you. All right, we got the top three. These three anglers, obviously, uh, have had a lot of opportunities, a lot of wins, uh, a lot of cash checks uh, in not just our series, but others. Uh, but all three of these anglers are going to get an opportunity to represent uh, in the top 60 for our Tournament of Champions at Lake Chickamauga this November in Dayton, Tennessee. All right, in third, taking home $1,850, had 81 and a half inches on day one, 75 inches today for 156 and a half, Jody Queen. What's up, Paige? Jody? All right. How are you, man? Man, I'm doing good. Look at this. I'm having a good time. Fishing, fishing rivers has, uh, has cashed you a few checks over the years. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love my rivers. I love the new river. It's just, it's always, you know, those fish, I know there was a lot of small fish caught, but there's a huge amount of big fish in that river. And they're just, they get a little flaky in July and into August. They, they tend to go toward, you know, feeding at night a lot because of the pressure on some of the parts of the river. But there, whatever we caught, there's, 10 times that out there that's that's big and huge and gnarly you know it's just a great river beautiful river and that's just a river i've fished for 40 years I, I love it i love it up here awesome man well we uh we love uh, you know me i love this river i was excited to have the opportunity to bring the series here yes um you like mentioned earlier you spent a lot of time and effort um, both helping anglers get familiarized with yeah. the river. Uh, you helped me kind of d figure out where some of these uh, ramps were <laughs> when you can't see them because the cliff's overhanging yeah. and the trees yeah. are overhanging yeah. and Google Earth doesn't work that way. Nope. So, you know, you invested a lot of your pre-tournament time into helping other people. It says a lot about uh, the kind of person you are. Anybody that's ever spent any time around you uh, would have is not surprised by that. Well, I appreciate uh, so that. Thank we want to we want to thank you for for the efforts that you've put in. But now I want to hear a little bit about what it took uh, this weekend uh, to to be up here, top three, 
got your last time we were we did a satellite event in New River, mm -hmm. uh, and you punched your ticket to a tournament of champions that yep. uh, you went ahead and won. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you know there's there's a little history in this in this whole thing, uh, but we want to hear about. Uh, Jody Queen's river experience this weekend. Yeah, I mean, you can't win them all. And I just, you know, I'm just fortunate that most of the, the river that I fish up here, it's all fishing history. And I'm just lucky to know what I know about the river. And, and you guys that come up here cold and, and never been here before, my hat's off to you because it's a tough river to learn. You did a great job. Um, you know, day one, I I was all set to uh, just catch a big bunch of fish on a jackhammer and a, and a whopper plopper, and uh, it was just non-existent for me. I had to, uh, uh, I did catch a couple early in the morning on a, on a jackhammer, but uh, or no, the new Evo actually, uh, but it just it just didn't pan out. So I had to uh, make a, an adjustment. I adjusted down, I downsized to a uh, sand tone jig and uh, with a small trailer on the back of it, a, a Z-Man um, TRD crawl. And it seemed to be working, so I stuck with that for most of the day, and uh, that's what got me my fish. Actually, it just pulled me out of it one, one stretch, and that's what happened when I caught that big 20. It, it was on that small finesse bait. So, uh, yeah, I mean, being able to make the right adjustments is what pulled me through that day one. And also today, actually, uh, you know, it started out the same way. It was just real slow for me. The areas that I'd caught fish and found fish in, they just didn't seem to be in there. Uh, so, uh, you know, 10, 30, or 11 o'clock, I still didn't have a fish on the board. So uh, floated down and tried fishing a different type of water. Uh, caught a few on, on that finesse jig. But, you know, what it really changed for me is I increased my, uh, my footprint. I, I, got a bigger uh, bait, but less weight. So I was kind of just letting it drift and bump and hit rocks. And when it stopped, I just let it sit there for a minute and pull it off. And uh, that's what the ticket was. Uh, my buddy, Tim Isaacs here, he makes the jigs that I was using. Uh, the jig heads, man, they're awesome. Uh, but yeah, and I just I got lucky and got me a, a decent limit today. So pulled it out. Definitely did, man. How's it, how's it feel to uh, know you're uh, gonna be at uh, Lake Chickamauga. Man, that's what I look champion. forward to. You know me, man. I just, I just got to get back. I want one more, you know. <laughs> I'd, right. love, I'd love to win that again. But, you know, just it's a great tournament. It's just a, a great event, and you guys do a, a wonderful job. And that's what I look forward to every every year is to try to qualify for the for the TOC. So, yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome event. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome, man. Well, anybody you want to thank? Uh, yeah, man, uh, fishing online, uh, they keep me stocked up with everything. Uh, Z, that's Z-Man and uh, Yak Attack, all the pro products they carry. Uh, so go on over and give them a shout and check them out. And uh, yeah, Torquedo, thank God we're allowed to use them in practice because I'm going to go home and sleep for about three days. Uh, all my old paddling muscles are not, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know where they went. They just... But uh, yeah, Torquedo, man, I mean, they got me through the practice period and if I'd have had to paddle through all that, then it'd been really rough on me for the last couple of days. But uh, it worked out great. Uh, I'm really appreciative of them. Cash and rods, man, I tell you, you know, I started using cash and rods for the last couple of years and they just keep getting better and better and better. They perform so well on the river. Uh, I never had a problem uh, fighting the fish or felt like, you know, I. What didn't have any confidence in my in my rods, and you need that. So cashing rods definitely. Um, I think that's about it. Awesome, man. Well, congratulations. I know there can be a lot of pressure uh, when you got a lot of history and and uh, spent a lot of time yep. uh, taking folks' money out on this river. So uh, I know yeah. I know it wasn't the victory, man, but top three in this field in these conditions. Hey, I'm ecstatic. Absolutely, I promise you. And yeah. you earned it, man. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. In second place, taking home $2,750, put up the second largest limit of the entire weekend today with 85 and a quarter inches to go with 72 inches yesterday for 157 and a quarter. 
Drew Gregory. Thanks, AJ. Drew has uh, also got a lot of history taking folks' money on rivers. Uh, you know, brought river bass into the scene way before there was a national scene. Uh, got a lot of people in uh, competitive kayak fishing, showcasing some of the most amazing waterways uh, in our country. Now, the series don't often go to places like this as much uh, as they could or as, as uh, you know, River Bass and Showcase, but um, man, you know, you showed up for a river event and we we're happy to have you and it's no surprise to have you in the top 15 and especially in the top three. How's it feel? I mean, I'm shocked to be standing here after kind of my day yesterday. Uh, it was a little bit challenging, lost a lot of big fish. Um, kind of, like, as Dusty, you know, Yacker mentioned, it was just, I had a reverse day with Dusty, okay? By the way, I want to be here. When Dusty wins, I want to be in the room. Anybody else want to be there at the party when Dusty wins one? I, I want to be there, buddy. But anyway, it was kind of the opposite yesterday for me, and I just struggled, and that's why I'm just shocked to be here. I knew, I told the, my roommates, uh, Dustin and, and Sean, I said, dude, I, I could have had closer to 92 inches than 72. I just lost so many fish. I've seen the ones that I missed. I had it all to myself. I found it, and I just was so frustrated. And I told those guys, I said, I could win the tournament still. I'm in 24th place. I, like, I can still win this if I go catch them tomorrow because it's so tight, you know, on this leaderboard here. And, uh, man, I, I almost did. So I don't know how I, I feel, really. I, I, maybe I should feel, like, more – Elated or more, I don't know, more frustrated about the ones I missed or more just excited. I'm going to take the positive and be ecstatic that I'm here because thank God that the Hobie BOS has two day tournaments and let me get a little redemption on the New River smallmouth. Well, what did it take today, man? 72, you know, when you looked at the limits, wasn't a bad limit on day one, but uh, 85 and a quarter is the second best limit of the entire weekend. So was it just capitalizing on opportunities uh, that weren't available on day one or didn't happen on day one? And, or, or did you change baits or change tactics or anything like that? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was capitalizing and actually, you know, connecting and landing the fish, A, and B, now that I kind of know where they were, you know, I did a lot of wade fishing and, and a little bit different. I like to do, you know, float trips a lot, but I tried to target real shallow fish. So I just kind of did a lot of wade fishing and really picked an area apart. I mean, I definitely went a long way, but I think I just knew where they were now. Cause, cause you know, few of the different reasons I got off or I lost a fish, you know, like a small teeny fish would eat it. And next thing you know, two or three big ones are trying to get it out of its mouth yesterday. And of course they saw me and that it's blown up. Right. So every, every time I'd see a big fish or one would hit, something would happen. And so today I knew where they were and I didn't catch them yesterday. So I said, well, I'm going to go back there throw a little bit different baits. So I threw a top water uh, today, like a choppa mostly. Yesterday I was throwing that mini max, some uh, that worked out really well. And a trout trick, a swimming trout trick from Z-Man. But today, yeah, that just, like you said, we talked about it before with the treble hooks, you mentioned it. I mean, it's just, they just got off yesterday, so. Well, uh, you qualified for a tournament of champions, man. <laughs> Yeah, like I'm blown are. away. Like, yeah, yeah. I, this is the you know, first one I've been able to fish this year. I've had a, a busy schedule. The kids are getting older. And it's just been kind of crazy. But I saw this on the, the schedule, and we had a family camp out actually planned. And I talked to Steve at ICAST and said, man, I'm not going to be able to make it. I've got this family camp out. And so uh, it got canceled. And I asked my wife, I said, hey, what do you think about me going to do this? And Christina at home, she's, she's so supportive of this. And she takes care of the kids great when I'm gone. And I had one day to practice and uh, just rolled in here and – and now I'm just shocked that I'm going to the TOC and in and, and second place. This is crazy. Awesome, man. Anybody else you want to thank? You know, uh, just Realtree Fishing, my headline sponsor. I, you know, I'm fortunate and very blessed. I've been doing this a long time. Like you said, AJ, I've got a long list of sponsors. So I'm going to run through it on social media afterwards but because I'm going to forget them if I try to even go down some lists. So follow me, Drew Greg Gregory Fishing uh, online. And also I want to thank my family, my wife back home, taking care of the kids, all the family support. And uh, just really want to thank God for creating such an incredible place because the New River, guys, it's the second oldest river in the world. It's incredibly beautiful with the bluffs, and I think the Nile River is the, the oldest, and it's, I don't know how they figure that, but somehow they do. It's the second oldest river, and you can just tell how beautiful it is, and it's definitely a place that I love coming to and definitely want to get back. Absolutely. Thanks, man. buddy. Congrats. Congrats to you, man. All right, this gentleman right here just beat two of the best river anglers this sport has ever had with 81 and three quarter on day one, put up the biggest five fish limit of the entire tournament today, 
for 86 and a half inches for a total of 168 and a quarter total inches, taking home $5,600, RJ Hoover. <laughs> RJ, tell everybody where you're from, man. Detroit, Michigan. All right, so, you know, some folks know that Detroit is, uh, you know, kind of home to Lake St. Clair, got yeah. some big old round mm -hmm. football swimming around mm -hmm. in there, but there's nothing yeah. quite like this up there. No, this is so much more fun. I don't know if you've watched any of the footage this weekend from the Bassmaster Elite Tournament up there, but that's so boring compared to this. They're just staring <laughs> at their graphs. This is like it's right in your face. Same baits, different presentation, but it's, uh, it's a special place. Well, let's talk about that, man. But first, I want to ask you kind of some specific questions. Um, you know, one, you're kind of riding a hot streak right now, man. We had, mm -hmm. you had a good finish uh, last month at Cayuga. Mm -hmm. uh, you've flown into events this year and had success. Mm -hmm. How's it feel to finally get your very first win mm -hmm. the Hobie Bass Open Series and do it in a place that is just so unique and different from so many places that we go fish? Yeah, so I think four years ago I fished my first national event, which was the Hobie BOS up on St. Clair. And I, I think I finished six, cashed a check, got to be in this room, and I was like, oh, God, I got to get back there. So uh, I, I thought it would be a little easier to win, honest, honestly. I've, got, I've been humbled many times. I've had other great, great events. But to win, you know, I know what it takes, and I, it still doesn't feel real. It's incredible. And as you just pointed out, to beat what I consider the greatest kayak angler of all time, and Jody in his backyard, and then Drew, who almost snuck up on me, uh, it's, just, it's just crazy. So I was thinking in my head, I'm like, I'm like, it's kind of like beating Nick Saban in, uh, at home, you know, it's just crazy, so. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. Um, well, what did it take this week? Mm -hmm. You know, you had over 81 and three-quarter both days. Today, you put up the best five fish limit of the entire weekend, uh, and you weren't doing it with giant fish. You know, mm -hmm. you're, you're not, there's not like 20s mixed in in your limit. You were no. very consistent in what you were catching, so. Uh, give us a little bit about uh, RJ's experience on the river the last two days. Yeah, so I, I've been in the New River Gorge before. I fished on the Kanawha River a lot. So I've been to West Virginia a lot, of, uh, probably 10 times, but uh, never down this far and certainly never on the New River in this section. So, um, But coming down, kind of the same way I approach anywhere. I've never been there. Try to fish an area that has a little bit of everything that might play. Um, so came down on Thursday. Uh, practice both days and uh, the area I found ended up catching all those fish um, you know for, for perspective I was the only one at the ramp this morning so there's nobody else there I, I don't think anyone else is fishing there because to get to where I was he had to get wet in the dark you know so uh, it's it's 6 a.m. Uh, by the way uh, Abby was rooming with, with this week having truck troubles so I wasn't even getting to the ramp till like 605 so I was been on the water in time to start most of the days but um, found the special area, had everything from creek to rock, had a couple special little spots, and uh, had the space all to myself pretty, for the most part the last two days. So That's pretty special, man. Mm -hmm. You definitely found the juice, and mm -hmm. uh, I think a big part of those is a little harder to get to and less pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think that's one of the things so many people want to fish this river. Uh, there's guides out here. There's people who just fish fun mm -hmm. all the time. These fish see baits a lot, and this time of year they get so mm -hmm. much pressure because – the river's beautiful, mm -hmm. the water feels good. People enjoy this river, whether you're coming in as a tourist or you're a local. Mm -hmm. So our anglers had to endure not just 100 uh, tournament anglers on this water, but they had to endure all the other variables that this river has. Mm -hmm. uh, because it is the new river, uh, people want to be here and they want to fish here. Mm -hmm. And you, you really found a spot that, um, you know, I think you were able to, to kind of find mm -hmm. that area that, that didn't yeah. get all of that. Right. I mean, it was kind of interesting today. Uh, I don't know if it was a bass boat term or something. There was like four or five boats in my area. Um, but I think someone else mentioned it. I mean, the whole key to this week was the presentation. Like, you had to have just the right angle. And then that's, that's how I put up the big limit today. Um, I just figured out just the right cast to make. I, I didn't see those boats catch one fish and they're in that area. So um, they eventually left, and I got it back to myself and ca caught that last big one this afternoon. So We well, said you were throwing some of the similar baits mm -hmm. as the, the pros out on Lake St. Clair this mm -hmm. weekend. Uh, but... For folks that didn't watch that or aren't following mm -hmm. that, what, what was it? Mm -hmm. uh, what were your tactics and techniques mm -hmm. uh, to to make it happen? Yeah, so uh, I thought I would catch them on, on more on, on Ned Rig. That wasn't really working uh, in practice. I caught them on tubes, caught a few on tubes in the tournament, um, jerk baits, chatter baits, 
Texas rigs. I mean, I, I caught fish on everything. And uh, swim baits this afternoon were, were, were key as well. So I think the, the, their mood would change. I think everyone else saw this too, but these fish were just spitting up giant crayfish whenever you'd catch them. So um, I tried to get, get my bait on or near the bottom, make it look for like a crayfish, and they were just absolutely, I mean, almost every fish I had to get the pliers out. They were just completely trying to, to, to kill the thing. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, you were definitely putting together a good year and, yeah. and going to be in a position to get back to the Tournament of Champions, but mm -hmm. it's not going to come down to points anymore. You get an mm -hmm. automatic spot. Right. Uh, Knowing that that's something you, that's been a goal for years that you've accomplished mm -hmm. over the years, how's it feel to get that automatic qualifier and know that you're going to be fishing for over eighty thousand dollars on Lake Chickamauga this November? It's nice. Uh, I, I am super excited, and I got a backstory on that. I'll thank my wife in a second, but uh, we're uh, expecting in October. So we've already talked it through. If we got a happy, healthy baby, uh, I'm going to be there. So uh, really, really looking forward to, to going down there. I think the TOC is the most premier event in the sport and uh, not only by, by, by the payouts, but the caliber of people there. So it's always fun to be there. Awesome, man. Well, anybody else that you want to thank and congratulations. No, on thank that, you. Yes. Um, maybe she'll go up to be uh, Christine Fisher or something who is someone I want to thank. Um, three people, three people I want to thank uh, besides my family and uh, my wife would be Christine, uh, Guillermo Gonzalez and uh, Jackson Orr. Um, I don't even know why they started talking to me three, four years ago, but, you know, started hanging out, rooming together. I mean, it, it's one thing to know how to catch fish. Um, it's another thing to know what, what matters, what to focus on, um, and how to win an event. And I learned that through them. So um, here I am today. So I couldn't have done it without them. A lot of other people I could thank, um, but that's it. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Yeah, this sport is uh – like we talked about Jody and, and you just mentioned, mm -hmm. there's so many people that want to help and, and uh, totally. you know, it's, it's a, there's a lot of special aspects to this community and uh, mm -hmm. appreciate you sharing that. Congratulations, mm -hmm. man. Thank you. All right, folks, I appreciate you all following along all weekend, uh, supporting these anglers, promoting these anglers. Uh, We've got another event coming up in a few weeks, another river event, very different place. If you want to fish with us, have an opportunity to big check, go ahead and get signed up for the St. Croix Rods Mississippi River event out of La Crosse. I want to give a big shout out to my girlfriend, Dee, for being here this weekend, helping me, taking care of the dogs, everything she does to make all the things that I have to do for you all uh, go that much smoother. So we all have help. It's always good to thank your help because we all wouldn't be here without the folks that, that are uh, by our sides through all of that. Thank you all. And we're signing off from the New River event here in Southern West Virginia. Thank you all.